hello guys welcome to my channel this is fashion star gold in today's tutorial i want to show you how to make or draft a perfect gown a straight cut gown so these are the measurements this is the shoulder line this is the shoulder line this is a slanting of the shoulder by one inch this is the armhole line this is the bust line. This is the waist line. As you can see, the shoulder is 16 inches divided by 2. You have 8. So this is the 8 inches here for you to get the armhole. So this is the 18 inches for the waist. This is 25 inches here. This is the line for the hip. And this is the floor, the floor length of it. The length of the gown so this is the back side of it and this is the zipper the zipper i took two inches so this is the balls the waist the hip and the length so what i want to put now is the ball span measurement so for the ball span measurement i'm taking five inches as nipple to nipple measurement take five inches down so i want to roll a line here So I'm going to measure the five inches here for the bust span measurement. Shoulder to ten and a half inches is my bust line measurement. This is the armhole line. So from here, from the ball span measurement, I'm coming down by one inch. From the hip, I'm going up by two inches. From the waist, I'll take half inch here. I'll take one inch this other way. So I'm connecting the half inch to the one inch on that post. So please subscribe to the channel if you have not done it. So this is that. So I'll come here and look for the for the midpoint. Seven inches there. So I'll take three and a half. That is the midpoint for the armhole. I'll take my measurements. 42 divided by 4 is 10 and a half inches plus 2 inches allowance. The same thing here. Ten and a half inches plus two inches allowance. So here, this is one inch. This is one and a half. This is one inch. This is half inch. So it's one and a half inches now. So the waist is forty divided by four. Is ten inches. 10 inches plus one and a half inches is 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half here plus two inches allowance. So for the heat here, remember I didn't take anything from here. So it's 46 divided by four is 11 and a half plus two inches allowance. So for the down, 
it's going to be a pencil gown so this is 11 and a half i'll minus one inch from it so i'll take 10 and a half here 10 and a half here plus two inches allowance So I'll make a rule a straight line here. A rule a straight line. I'll come here. Use the hip line to the west. I'll draw a line here. From the hip to meet the waist. From the waist, waist to the bust points, I will draw a line here. From the waist to the bust line, I will draw a line here. This is the bust line from here to the armhole line. So I will then draw the cuff. Of the armhole so this is the back cuff this is the back cuff for the front armhole I'll come in by one inch I'll connect it down to this place see the way I'm connecting the cuff I'll mark from here straight. Then you have to blend here. Let it not be pointy. So this is the front armhole here. This is the back armhole there. So I want to measure the neck. The neck I'm taking the neck width is four inches the neck depth is five and a half inches i bring down the four inches this way i'll connect the line then i'll mark one inch here So discard this line, follow this line. So this is the front neck depth. For the back neck depth, I'll take two inches. Remember this is my zipper allowance. So I'll connect it this way. So the emphasis is at the waist. So the waist, I'll take half inch. I measure half inch here to avoid puffness of the back at the waist. So I'll connect from here to join to the hip line. To 
is tempting to this place to join to the armhole line. So I'm going to cut it now. So I'll cut it now. So I'm cutting the back face, the back neck face, this is the back armhole. That is the shoulder slant that I'm cutting. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not done so. Thank you so much. So, down here, I want to make a little cough. Coming by one and a half inch. And I will i make a cough. It's optional. I can leave it straight. I can cough it. Remember, this is paper. If it is material, you can use like three inches. This place can be like three inches. The allowance at the back can be three inches. The zipper will be this way. This is where the zipper will be. So this is where the slits will be. The slit depends on what you want. You can take like 10 inches from the ground floor. You can take like 12 inches. So I'll remove it now. This is the back side of it. For the back now, I want to take my dart measurement. Five inches, five inches, five inches. I will draw a line. As I'm drawing the line, I'll take half inch here, half inch this way. I'll come up by one and a half inch. I'll go up by one inch. Then I'll connect it this way. Cut it. Okay. 
I'm cutting up with that now. We back that. So this is how it's going to look like. This is the back side of it. The back side of the basic gown. This is the back side of the basic gown. See the back and the zipper allowance. So I want to show you the front. Before I cut the back, just let me show you how to do the the side that side that it is eight inches from the boss line to the waistline is eight inches so i will take the midpoint so that is the midpoint i will come this is the tip of the bust i measure two inches allowance here then i'll rule a line from this place the midpoint to these two inches here then i look for the midpoint from this midpoint to this boss line it's four inches so i measure two inches that's the midpoint I wrote a line to these two inches here. Yeah. So that is it that you fold it this way. Fold it is it that fold it and so but you have to replace it. You have to replace it here. Remember that I'm working with the paper. I don't have enough paper, so you have to replace it that there. Yeah. So let me cut it off. And before I cut the dart here, I want to cut the armhole for the front. This is the armhole for the front. Remember the back and the front armhole, they're not the same. It is a slight difference. This one is coffee, a little inward. While the other one is not, the back is not. So I'm cutting the back. I want to cut the neck of the gown now. So I've cut the neck. Cutting the dart. Yeah, that depends on the person. 
if the person is bossy, you will take more of the dart. You can take one inch and take two inches. You can take more than that. So this is how the basic gown looks like. So this is it. I've already shown you the back of it. How the back look like. This is the front side of it. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to it if you have not done it. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification button. So that anytime I post a new video, you'll be notified of it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. Oh my God.